what does the p wave represent in an ecg your options are ventricular depolarization atrial repolarization atrial depolarization or ventricular repolarization and the correct answer is atrial depolarization the p wave signifies the atrial depolarization that reflects the electrical activation of the atria question number 2 which lead is commonly used for monitoring heart rate so options are lead 1 lead 2 lead 3 and lead avr and the correct answer is lead 2 the lead 2 or lead second provides a good view of the electrical activity between the atria and the ventricles making it suitable for heart rate monitoring question number 3 the qrs complex represent So what does QRS complex represents? Your options are ventricular repolarization, atrial depolarization, ventricular depolarization or atrial repolarization. And the correct answer is ventricular depolarization. The QRS complex indicates the depolarization of the ventricles. leading to their contraction question number 4 what is the normal duration of the pr interval your options are 0.060.10 seconds 0.120.20 seconds 0.200.30 seconds or 0.300 300.40 seconds the correct answer that is 0.060.10 seconds the pr interval reflects the time for the electrical impulse to travel from the atria to the ventricles normally taking 0.060.10 second approximately question number 5 which electrolyte imbalance is associated with the a prolonged qt interval your options are hypernatremia hypokalemia hypercalcemia or hypocalcemia the correct answer is hypokalemia the prolonged qt interval is often seen in the hypokalemia that affecting the repolarization phase of the cardiac cycle question number 6 a peaked t wave may indicate so what is a peaked t wave indicates your options are hypercalcemia hypokalemia hypernatremia or hypomagnesemia the correct answer is hypercalcemia peaked t waves are a characteristic feature of hypercalcemia that influence the ventricular repolarization question number 7 friends if the video is helping you then please support us by liking and subscribing our channel let's continue question number 7 in lead avr the qrs complex should normally be options are positive negative biphasic or absent the correct answer is negative lead avr typically shows a negative qrs complex as it views the heart from the opposite direction question number 8 st segment elevation is a characteristic finding in options stable angina myocardial infraction atrial fibrillation or heart failure the correct answer is myocardial infraction question number 9 question number 9 what is the typical heart rate range for a normal sinus rhythm your options are 50 to 70 beats per minute 60 to 100 bpm 70 to 90 bpm or 80 to 120 bpm 
The correct answer is 60 to 100 BPM. A normal sinus rhythm generally falls within the heart rate range of 60 to 100 beats per minute. Question number 10. Which lead is often used to diagnose an inferior myocardial infarction? Your options are lead 1, lead 2, lead 3 and the lead AVL. The correct answer is lead 2. Lead 2 is particularly useful for diagnosing inferior myocardial infarction, providing a view of the inferior part of the heart. Question number 10. The PR interval is measured from the beginning of the P wave to the beginning of options are Q wave, R wave, S wave or T wave. The right answer is Q wave. The PR interval is the time from the beginning of the P wave to the start of the Q wave. That indicates the time for the electrical impulse to travel from the atria to the ventricles. Question number 12. A wandering atrial pacemaker is characterized by regular P wave morphology, constant PR interval, variable P wave morphology or absence of P waves. And the right answer is variable P wave morphology. A wandering atrial pacemaker is identified by a variation in P wave that indicates that the impulse originates from different sites in the atria. Right? Question number 13. The J point on the ECG represents the junction between the J point on the ECG represents the junction between options are QRS complex and EST segment. ST segment and T wave, P wave and PR segment or T wave and U wave. The right answer is QRS complex and ST segment. The J point marks the junction between the QRS complex and the ST segment on the ECG. Question number 14. In which lead the R wave usually the tallest in a normal ECG? In which lead is the R wave usually the tallest in normal ECG? Options are lead 1, lead 2, lead 3 and lead AVF. The right answer is lead 2. Lead 2 commonly exhibits the tallest R wave in a normal ECG that provides a valuable view of the electrical activity between the atria and the ventricles. Question number 15. A wide net QRS complex is commonly seen in where options are atrial fibrillation, ventricular tachycardia, sinus rhythm or atrial flutter. The right answer is B and that is ventricular tachycardia. The ventricular tachycardia often presents with wide net QRS complex on the ECG. Question number 16. The normal duration of the QRS complex is options 0 0.06 to 0 0.10 seconds, 0 0.10 to 0 0.16 seconds, 0 0.12 to 0 0.20 seconds or 0 0.20 to 0 0.30 seconds. The right answer 0. 12 to 0 0.20 seconds. The QRS complex duration in a normal ECG typically falls within the range of 0 0.12 to 0 0.20 seconds. Question number 17. Which coronary artery is often referred to as the dividomaker? The maker? The answers options are left anterior descending LAD circumflex artery, right coronary artery RCA or left main coronary artery. The correct answer left anterior descending LAD. The left anterior descending LAD artery is commonly known as the 
widow maker due to its critical role in supplying blood to large portion of the left ventricle question number 18 the term st depression is associated with options myocardial infarction myocardial ischemia atrial fibrillation ventricular tachycardia the right answer is myocardial ischemia friends st depression is a common ecg finding a myocardial ischemia indicating insufficient blood supply to the myocardium question number 19 Atrial flutter is characterized by sawtooth shaped P waves absence of P waves irregular RR intervals or prolonged QT interval the right answer sawtooth shaped P waves the atrial flutter is identified by sawtooth shaped P waves on the ECG question number 20 which electrolyte imbalance is associated with the prolonged pr interval the options hyperkalemia hypokalemia hypercalcemia hypocalcemia the right answer is hyperkalemia hyperkalemia is often linked to the prolonged pr interval on the ecg that affects the conduction of electrical signals through the entroventricular node ev node question number 21 friends if you are enjoying the video then please support us by liking and subscribing our channel let's continue the normal axis of the qrs complex is best seen in which lead the options are lead 1 lead 2 lead 3 and lead avf the right answer is a lead second The lead second provides a good representation of the normal QRS axis in a standard ECG. Question number 22. A prolonged QT interval is associated with an increased risk of atrial fibrillation, ventricular arrhythmias, sinus bradycardia, atrioventricular block (AV block). Options is Correct answer is ventricular arrhythmias. A prolonged QT interval increases the risk of ventricular arrhythmias, potentially leading to life-threatening conditions. Question number 23. Which ECG lead is often used to assess the lateral wall of the left ventricle? Your options are lead 1, lead V1, lead v5 or lead avl the correct answer lead v5 the lead v5 is commonly utilized to assess the lateral wall of the left ventricle that provides valuable information about its electrical activities question number 24 the t wave on an ecg represents ventricular depolarization ventricular repolarization atrial depolarization or atrial repolarization the correct answer ventricular repolarization the t wave signifies ventricular repolarization that reflects the recovery phase of the cardiac cycle question number 25th the term pr interval stands for So what does PR interval stand for? Options are predisposition to the rhythm, P wave to R wave interval, prevalence of repolarization or pressure ratio interval. The correct answer is P wave to R wave interval. The PR interval measures the time from the beginning of the P wave to the start of the QRS complex indicating the conduction time from the atria to the ventricles question number 26 a normal p wave duration is usually a normal p wave duration what is that duration of this is it less than 0.04 seconds less than 
less than 0.06 seconds or greater than 0.10 seconds or greater than 0.12 seconds. A normal P wave duration is less than 0.06 seconds. A normal P wave typically lasts for less than 0.06 seconds, reflecting the rapid atrial depolarization. Question number 27. A notch or slurring at the beginning of the QRS complex is known as the options J point elevation, delta wave, U wave or Osborne wave. The correct answer is delta wave. A delta wave is characterized by a notch or slurring at the onset of the QRS complex that often associates with wolf parkinson white syndrome. Now, question number 28. Atrial fibrillation is characterized by options a regular rhythm, irregular rhythm, bradycardia, prolonged PR interval. And the right answer is irregular rhythm. Atrial fibrillation is identified by its irregular rhythm that reflects the chaotic, chaotic and disorganized atrial electrical activity. Question number 29. The ST segment represents the time between options ventricular depolarization and repolarization, atrial depolarization and repolarization, P wave and QRS complex or QRS complex and T wave. The right answer ventricular depolarization and repolarization. The ST segment represents the isoelectric period between the ventricular depolarization and repolarization. Question number 30. In lead AVL, the QRS complex should normally be options positive, negative, isoelectric or biphasic. The right answer is positive. In lead AVL, a positive QRX complex is the, is the expected normal finding. Question number 31. Which condition is characterized by a rapid irregular atrial rate and an absence of P, P waves? The options are atrial flutter, atrial fibrillation, supraventricular tachycardia or ventricular fibrillation the right answer atrial fibrillation atrial fibrillation is marked by a rapid and irregular atrial rate with an absence of distinct p waves on the ecg question number 32 friends if the video was helpful then please support us by liking and subscribing our channel the rest of the questions will be explained in the second part of this video till that take care and please how was the video comment in the comment section that really make me to feel that that i'm doing good content for you thank you for your valuable time have a great time